Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial today and this is going to be a sort of quick guide and some examples of the best ways and the best practices and the ways of organizing your script and your actual code itself. So I'm just going to give some examples. These aren't the best visual examples, but they all work in the same kind of way. If Whenever you start in Unity, you want to remember that you know, down the road, it's going to get, might start getting a bit unmanageable and you might have an awful lot of st stuff just in your face and it sort of gets a bit crazy when you're looking at it. So there's ways to break all this up. So when you first get started, it's always, people always often rush into just writing the scripts and then you think to yourself, well, I've got a script about 500 lines and this is far too much for me to manage. Now, it's always really important to as the example I'm just going to briefly show here is split your script up into specific sort of use cases. So say for instance you can see the player vitals, the level manager and the game controller. Now the game controller might might control everything to do with managing scores and things like that within my game. The level manager might control when, what levels we might need to move to and the things from there. And then the player vitals might control health and information based on how we're going to take damage. Now, they all have specific uses and yeah, we could all shove them into one script, but it might end up become manageable. So it's always really important to split them up into actually specific cases where they all have a specific job. So when you go back to it, you can look at a script and look in your folder and go, right, okay, player vitals, I want to look in that today, or I'm going to do something in the level manager and you don't have to scroll down lots and lots of hundreds of lines just to find the parts that you need. That's uh, important from a base level and once you've got that it will save you a lot of time because you can look at those in a glance but say we need to we're going to adjust a specific script and you can see that it might be already so many lines long. You start usually start at your variables that you've actually declared and there's a way to tidy these up so when you're actually in Unity yourself and say you've got a script you'll have your variables appearing at the side especially if they're public or something like that if you want them visible in the inspector. Now most of the time if a public variable or you want it invisible in the inspector isn't required to be seen or used in other scripts, it's good to keep them sort of hidden away so they can't be accidentally used or used in other cases if somebody say gets access to your code or tries to sort of manipulate it in some way. So the best way to do this if for instance that I never wanted to be able to access the max health health and I wanted to just specify in script I can write in square brackets before any uh, declaration of a variable and actually write serialized field and then instead of having a public where sometimes we don't require it to be public if I'm never going to change max health it's always going to be the same I can write that as a private integer max health and when I go back into unity now you can still see that max health is available to be used but it actually made no difference to its use case because it's still available in the inspector and I can still set the value I just don't have it actual you know accessible outside of this script so I can't accidentally change it if you know I did something wrong similarly with the public integer health fall rate say I needed that to be public but I didn't want it to be actual visible in the inspector at any point I can write in square brackets before it hide in inspector just before it which means I will actually hide this from the inspector at any one time you'll see it'll, it'll disappeared from the inspector now so with these two use cases that I've been able to keep a, a variable private but also make it visible in the inspector but also if I don't want it visible I can use hide in inspector in a similar way if you're trying to manage your code and you've got a lot of variables and you just want to have a quick glance in the inspector and you don't know what any, what is actually going on, you might want to do little tooltips or little information to, dis, to declare what actually these things do. So what you can do is say above this private integer max health I write in square brackets and what I'm going to do is write tooltip and then I'm going to write in two brackets then two quotes and I might write um, this is a variable for maximum health and then I could say maximum I want to specify of 60 health at any one time and I can save that out and then when I go back into unity you can see that when I try and hover over any of these other variables nothing happens but I can go to max health now and I can say that this is a variable uh, for maximum health maximum 60 health and then you can specify now you have a little tooltip to remind you what was going on because you might have a big list of variables which might get confusing similarly with that you can give this whole thing a 
title just to sort of give it a header so you can remember what it does. So I can put header, then as I did similar with the tooltip, I can put in, in brackets and then in quotes, I can just say health variables. So it helps me sort of split it all up. I will save that out. I can go back into Unity and you can see that now it has broken off from the main and I've, and I've got health variables. I can do a similar thing here and I can put another square brackets header then in brackets in quotes I can write first variables and then you'll see that when it, when it refreshes it's broken these up together and I've got a nice way of actually managing what's going on. Now for instance say I've got all these and it's looking quite messy now and I don't want to see these all of the time. What we can do is we can use region to actually specify whether we want to show something or not so we can put so we can write a hashtag and then we can write region and then we can ha press shift if we so want it'll specify as my region I want to say this as health variable region and I will save that what I'll do is I will copy the hashtag end region because that's how we end a specific region and what I can do is just underneath the final set of sort of health variables I can paste the end region and you can write that yourself it's just hash end region and then you will get a little sort of, um, you'll get a minimization box on the left hand side of the actual scripting editor and you can close that up and you can see the health variable region I've just closed up so I've just hidden it and I can do that for all of the things that are available and I can just make sure that I close it up so I don't have to see it all of the time because you might not need to see it all of the time especially if you're just writing a few things in and you just want to hide specific sections. Similarly down here if I'm doing a lot of things with adjusting the health control you can write little comments just by writing two forward slashes and then whatever you want as a comment you might want again adjust the region here and just have a hash my hash region as my region and I will just put this as health control and again I can just select that portion just paste it under here and then what we can do is we can hide that up and now we've got the health control just sort of at a glance we can see exactly what portion of code and we can choose to open it or hide it at any point we like and that just helps with pure management of the, all the things that we can do. All in all is you can build up a picture of managing the variables you've got, managing all the content that you've got and hiding things when they're not appropriately required to be visible and it's always important to make sure that you um, name things specifically sort of appropriately so don't give everything to try and avoid giving too many things a similar name because it can get quite confusing like even though some of these might be a little bit confusing you want to don't have something as health slider 1 or health slider 2 or health slider 3 because they're all quite similar you want to give something a specific name which means something so if somebody else looked at your code they'd know exactly what it does so you'd see the third slider the max thirst and then the thirst fall rate you want to give everything a, an actual name that's distinguishable and for, for the most part you probably want to try and avoid having constant values which you've hard coded into your scripts so you can see here I use a lot of zeros when you know I'm referencing the code what I could do to sort of make this more manageable and make it better maybe for, for the future we could just write a, a in square brackets serialized field we could say private integer as well let's say for instance minimum value and I want that always to set equal to one so I never actually want to particularly be able to adjust this and yeah that would be visible in the inspector if I wanted to adjust the minimum value but say I didn't like before we could just say hide in inspector and this would be equal zero now what we could do is just copy that variable and paste it in in every single one of these so we'd never see zero again we'd always have the minimum value which we could adjust because it's always important to keep everything very consistent throughout so you don't have any sort of hard coded values it's something you can change at a glance if you really need to so really it's just a way for you to try and find steps in your own mind and you can have a look on google for more and more tips for managing your code and making it more efficient but these were just some sort of quick tips just to go through and try and make it more manageable for yourself and even other people who tend who might come and read your code in the future so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers